Hello and welcome to another core workout. Today we've got six minutes of doubling up on each movement. So every movement we do, we're gonna come back to later in the workout and that includes the rest. So you get two rests today. I'll demonstrate our movements and then we're gonna get started with the workout. So to start, we're gonna have windshield wipers. You're going to start with your hands either out to the sides for support or you can have them under your butt. Um, Whatever is most comfortable for you. Raise those feet up towards the ceiling. Drop down to one side, bring it back up to center, and drop down to the other side. That's your windshield wipers. Next up we have crunches. You can bend your knees. You can have your hands either by your ears or crossed over your shoulders. Uh, the choice is yours. Uh, our goal is to get our upper back up off of the mat with each rep. Uh, you don't need to bring your elbows and your knees together as long as you have that distance between your shoulders and the floor. After our crunches, we have dying bugs. So you're gonna spread out your arms and legs. You're gonna come opposite hand, opposite foot together. You can modify this by leaving one hand on the ground to help push you up towards your foot, or you can make it more challenging by leaving that hand off of the ground. And you can make it more challenging even still by keeping your heels off of the floor as you go through the movement. After our dying bugs, we have bike kicks. So you're gonna bring your opposite knee to your opposite elbow, meeting in the center, extending that opposite leg out as far as you can as you meet in the center with your other arm and your other knee. After our bike kicks, we have rest. After the rest, we work our way back through what we just did. So back to those bike kicks, opposite hand or opposite elbow, opposite knee, after our bike kicks, Dying bugs, coming up, meeting in the center. After our bike kicks, we have crunches, shoulders off the mat. Then we move into our windshield wipers, feet up from side to side. And then we have our last 30 second rest. The workout is over, okay? So now that you know the workout, we're gonna get to it together. You can follow along with me. I'll let you know when it's time to switch and give you some modifications as we go through the workout. So go ahead and set up for your windshield wipers. These are going to be for 30 seconds. Ready, set, begin. Drop down one side, back to center, drop down to the other side. Remember to keep your breathing under control. And if you need to rest during your windshield wipers, bring those feet down and rest with your heels off of the floor. Once you're ready to jump back in, bring those feet up and continue to the next side. After this, we have one minute of crunches. And switch to crunches. So remember, you can have your hands behind your head or you can have your hands over your shoulders. For this one, if you need to modify, just modify the rate at which you're coming up. So coming up slower, or if you want to make it more challenging, try to get in more reps. Really focus on squeezing that core to bring you up. We're over halfway with the crunches. After our crunches, we're going to have dying bugs. 15 seconds to go. Exhaling on the effort. And switch to dying bugs. Remember, you can modify by leaving your heels and your hands on the ground. You can make it more challenging by keeping your hands off the ground. And you can make it even more challenging by keeping your heels off of the ground. For this one, if you're going to rest, we're in a position knees to chest, and then you extend and get back in as soon as you can. And switch to bike kicks. So you bring opposite knee to opposite elbow, extending that leg out straight, and then switching. Only 15 seconds to go until our rest. I'm ready for it.
and rest. Now we're going back up through the workout the way we just came. So you're going to start with your bike kicks all the way up to windshield wipers. We've got 15 seconds of this rest left. Enjoy it, we can stretch out nice and tall. All right, and get ready for those bike kicks. They're coming in three, two, one, begin. seconds left. With the bike kicks also, resting with your knees at your chest. And now switching to our dying bugs. So, extend out wide. After our dying bugs, we have crunches. And 10 seconds. And switch to crunches. So bend those knees up. You can have your hands by your ears or on your shoulders. Trying to get separation between our shoulders and the mat. Coming up. We're halfway. Hang in there. Fifteen seconds to go. After our crunches, we have our windshield wipers, which will be our last movement of the workout. And switch to the windshield wipers. So legs straight up, arms out to the sides, side to side. there, hang in there. And rest. So, since we did everything in the workout twice, we added the rest on at the end, which is actually the end of the workout. So, feel free to rest, stretch out, and I'll see you back here for our next core workout.